in this problem we have to convert a given excel column to a column number so here let's say if we are given a then we have to convert to 1 z then we have to convert to 26 then a a comes so if a is given we will return 27 and so on so there was one another problem where we had done the reverse of this so we were given an integer value and we were converting it to the column number here it's the reverse thing and it's much more easier than the earlier problem and it, it has been asked uh, a few times in Microsoft interviews and also in a few other interviews. So let's see how we can solve this. So if you have converted, uh, let's say hexadecimal to a decimal, then it should be very easy for you. Let's say you want to convert uh, a9. So this is a hexadecimal. We write it as 0xA9, but let's forget this part. So how do we convert it? We know that a is mapped to 10 and 9 is mapped to 9 so 9 multiplied by 16 raised to the power 0 plus a multiplied by 16 raised to the power 1 and if we had more digits we would have multiplied that by 16 square and then 16 cube and so on so a is mapped to 10 so instead of a we can write 10 here so it's 160 plus 16 raised to the power 0 is 1 9 so it's 169 so in this case we will again be given a column number for example uh, column numbers are a is mapped to 1 b is mapped to 2 all the way up to z which is mapped to 26 so here there is no 0 it's a starting from 1 so there is an offset of 1 then after z we have a a so a a till a z z it will be again 26 characters so this is 27 and this is 52 then we will have BA to BZ and again we will have 26 and all the way up to Z8 to ZZ. So these are two digits. So in two digits we will have 26 multiplied by 26 combinations. First place can be any 26 character, second also. So if we have uh, let's say three digits then straight away we will know that at least we have 26 cross 26 plus 26. So this is the count of up to two digits then three digits start so conversion should be very similar to this you should remember this so let's say we want to convert column number b c d to a number so what will be this so just like this remember this picture even in decimal if we have let's say 123 what do we write 3 multiplied by 10 raised to the power 0 plus 2 multiplied by 10 raised to the power 1 plus this 1 multiplied by 10 square so here also d multiplied by 26 raised to the power 0 so whatever is the base here we have in hexadecimal we had 16 different digits in decimal we had 10 different digits in our case excel sheet we have 26 different characters so whatever is the base so d multiplied by 26 raised to the power 0 plus c multiplied by 26 raised to the power 1 plus b multiplied by 26 square so 26 square is 676 and b means 2 plus 26 multiplied by 3 plus this is 1 so just 4 so if you multiply this we have 2 and 14 plus 1 5 then 12 plus 1 13 so 1352 plus 78 plus 4 so this is 10 plus 4 14 carry 1 12 plus 1 13 carry 1 14 so you can verify that bcd the value the column number is 1434 so it's very simple let's write the code for this you can go through this problem a few more examples are there So first let's calculate the offset which is this character so we subtract the sky value of a so for a it will be 0 b it will be 1 so we need to add 1 and then whatever was the result we multiply by 26 plus add the new digit and this is how we do in any conversion whether it is hexadecimal decimal binary or anything and return result 
so it works for this case let's try bcd what we saw in the example then we know that z is 26 then a a is 27 a b so this would be good enough Uh, so our answer here is wrong uh, let's see why result is 0 uh, d is equal to c minus a plus 1 sorry it's c that's why we calculated d here and now it matches so let's submit and the solution is accepted and we are here but if you run a few times you will get to 0 millisecond So what is the time complexity here? We are doing one scan of this string, so number of characters in the string, so O of n. The same thing you can write in Java and Python. I don't think it's necessary here. You can easily convert. And the Java solution is also accepted. And here also we are right here in the top. The same way you can uh, write in Python 3. So here we cannot directly add or subtract characters. We have to first take the sky value of that. So we will take ORD. ORD will take the sky value. And the Python solution is also accepted.